What's up, family? We're gonna get right into it. I got this guy with me today. He wanna catch some crappie. All day, every day. All day, every day. All right, we gonna do, we'll be using 1 16th ounce jig heads, 1 32nd ounce jig heads, and a natural color bait right here. This is actually a moonshine crappie jig that I created called Confetti Yeti. Guys, do me a huge favor. Y'all know Mr. Perry passed away earlier this year, January the 8th. If y'all really would, help me out. His wife wants to keep his legacy going, wants, wants to keep Moonshine Crappie Jigs open. Flood the website, guys, moonshinecrappiejigs.com. Please, help and show, show, uh, show that family support, guys. All right, we'll be using five, six, five foot six inch crappie rods, and we'll be doing a double jig presentation double G we also guys I got the quick connects on here and so it makes it for easy can you grab that line makes it for easy change out right there that little quick connect being on there also I almost forgot to mention we're using six pound crappie head slab mono you can pick that up at crappiehead.com this line is designed for pan fish um, not catfish guys it's, it's designed to get you a a really good experience with catching those little panfish that you love. And so, what we gonna do is when you get to a new pond, there's a lot of casting that has to take place. So you'll start out casting, 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 and then eventually, boom, success. You've located the crappie, and then you can hone in in that area, and then you can just work them out. And this won't be a big crappie video. It's just more or less to show you the technique for, a, for bank fishermen on how to locate crappie at a pond or a, or a lake or whatever. You know, you just, depending on the body of water will depend on how much more you walk in you have to do, how much more uh, water you have to cover. So the techniques will apply at all of them. Another thing I wanna add guys, if you are fishing a pond with a fountain in it, be aware of the cables that are anchoring that, that fountain. So go around, look for these PVC pipes coming off the, uh, off the bank. Sometimes they won't come out, they won't show them out of the bank like that. They'll be, they'll be deeper in the water and so you have to look a little bit harder, but you do not want to cast directly on that cable or crossways with that cable because you contact that, it's game over. You're not getting your jig out of there. All right, let me get out here and see if I can get y'all one. So, like I said, I'm a cast and you can cast at all different angles. And what I'll do is I'll let, let it hit the bottom. Well, you can watch your line pull out with this mono. It allows your line to float so you can actually see it go across the surface of the water. And now I know it's on the bottom because it stopped moving and I'll just slowly retrieve those baits back to me. Covering that bottom, anything across that bottom and, and a little bit above the bottom will uh, actually get this because that's why I did the double, double jig and you just wanna slowly retrieve it back to you. Oh. That's a little snickle doodle. Nothing major. Like I said, this video, it's not gonna be monster crappie. It's just showing you the technique on how to find the crappie in the pond. 